Greetings from Coldorcia. Greetings from Montalcino, where we produce the Brunello di Montalcino. I am standing in one of my Sangiovese grape vineyards. Sangiovese grape is the grape we use to produce Brunello di Montalcino. And uh, I came to check the ripening of the grapes. I picked this bunch to uh, analyze it and uh, judge the point of uh, ripeness. But I've been tasting the grapes. They are ready. Probably tomorrow morning we will come and pick them for the Brunello di Montalcino 2020. But now I want to present to you the Coldorcia Brunello di Montalcino Vintage 2015. This wine was produced with grapes uh, such as these ones. In fact, this vineyard uh, as well. All vineyards that uh, I grow myself, they are all farmed uh, organically and they deliver balanced fruit, harmonious fruit that will uh, produce a balanced wine and a harmonious wine. This 2015, uh, after picking the grapes, was brought to the cellar and we uh, aged it for full three years in large oak barrels to uh, allow it to mellow and uh, uh, amalgamate uh, and uh, uh, really become ready uh, to be enjoyed by you. I've poured myself uh, a glass of it and uh, if we look at the color of this Brunello di Montalcino called Dorcia 2015, we can see that the, it's quite light, it's quite transparent, uh, with a nice uh, ruby red and uh, orangey, orangey sides that uh, indicate the amount of aging uh, that this wine has already undergone. To the nose, it is uh, elegant and complex. You can uh, uh, feel the uh, cherries, the sour cherries, also spices and uh, dried fruit. To the taste, it's uh, balanced, it's uh, filling in the mouth, it's uh, very persistent, it has a pleasant um, fruity side to it, uh, very long aftertaste. Uh, bright uh, and really makes you think about food. So I start thinking when I taste this wine uh, of how I'm going to pair it uh, with food and uh, looking forward uh, today at lunch uh, to a wild boar stew that I will cook using some Rosso di Montalcino, the younger version of, of this wine. So a full flavored dish, nice and rich, but I can also think of uh, uh, lamb cutlets for instance or a fillet with green pepper sauce so full flavored dishes uh, uh, because this is a wine that can withstand uh, uh, a very uh, important comparison uh, in terms of pairing with food i'm also looking forward to taste this wine uh, in a little bit longer uh, so that it has a chance to age more in the bottle and it will uh, keep improving. So, Brunello di Montalcino, 2015, by Cordorcia. Good health to you all.